Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 70 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Today, we're going to get building a space station. I've done a little bit of testing in my test world, and I've come up with what I believe uh, to be a pretty cool little thing going on. Uh, I have some pretty good ideas on, on what will look good versus what won't look good. And I've come up with a concept for a build for a space station that I really hope you guys like. Because you know I'm not that great of a builder. Um, and we're going to do our best to make it look cool, but also be, as tradition dictates, dire functional. So uh, I, I, I've, I've come up with a base design. Uh, I've come up with an idea of how it's going to look and how it's going to work. And I'm going to use the builder to assist me. Uh, so we're going to need some things. Uh, we're going to need some shape cards, uh, specifically one basic shape card. So we're not quarrying, which is good news. Um, because that means that um, we can totally make a simple shape card, which is super cheap and easy. And this will help us to build a nice set of stuff. I'm also getting myself uh, some thickened glass, which you can see right here coming in. I'm auto crafting. I requested about a thousand. So we've got a ways to go, as you can see, um, but that'll be good for now. We'll need a chest to hang out with. Uh, we're also gonna want a cell. Uh, a power cell. Ooh, I'm missing two blocks of red. Am I really, like, like really out of redstone? Because that's comical. All right. Zzz. Do me a favor. Export redstone, would you? That should uh, solve all problems therein. I just haven't been processing it. I've been collecting it and storing it in a drawer and voiding some of it. Um, so we've got like 4,000 redstone sitting in a drawer not being processed at the moment. But that'll rapidly change. So now we've got uh, redstone showing up. Cool. Uh, so I should be able to make a power cell card. Yay. And I should be able to make um, a power cell. Yay. And that should be cool. Are you crafting stuff over there? No, you don't need to. So I've got... I, I, I won't be able to really like explain it to you guys. I might as well just start building. I think that's like the best way to go about doing this. Um, so we have our power cell and our card should be in progress. We're just waiting on a little bit of vibrant alloys and now we're waiting on an ender resonator and that should be pretty quick and cool. Um, done. Let's link it down here. So you're, what are you doing? Is it like raining or something outside? No. So you should be like just fine with regards to power gen, right? Like you're cool. Yeah, you're just, uh, you're using all the power that I'm getting. Cool. So I think what I should probably do, like the smart thing to do here would be to get another power cell. Right? Um, and then we can like, hook this up to an output line or something like that. Yeah, remember this mess that I made? <laughs> um, but like you can be linked here. Do I need another card for this? So we'll set all sides to accept energy. Installed module. Cool, link ID four, nice, okay, cool. So with you link ID four, this is link ID one. I don't know what happened to link IDs two and three, uh, but they must be around somewhere. So then I can get myself a card, another card as it were. Um, and we can start linking things that should be getting power output to here for the time being. Uh, eventually we'll be doing other things, uh, but for now this will work, right? So card is coming along nicely. That shouldn't take too long. Uh, is there anywhere else that, like, desperately I have power transfer issues? I don't think so. Like, outside of this guy over here. So, like, he should really be a link to. Right? So if I were to come down here with this guy and install this link. So now you're linked to four. I don't know why it skipped two and three, like I said, but almost done there, buddy. Working on it. Oh, we have glass scheduled to be made. Wah, wah, wah. That'll take a while. So that's okay. Um, I'll just, you, well, I really don't want gas getting out because that would probably be really bad. But now you're linked to four, so you'll like pretty much always have energy. Why are you unlinked? Oh, I did the wrong thing. 
But this is a slightly smarter way to do it. Cool. There we go. Now you'll always have power for Mr. Mob Grinder, and everybody's a winner. Sweet. Okay. So my, uh... What I should be able to do, actually, is just... Get some sand. Regular smelt you, please. Yay. And let's just deal with this manually for a minute. So if I cancel it and re-request it, it should have the card thing that it needs, and it's cool. Cool. So you're going to also get linked to two, or four. I'm going to keep calling it two, and that's going to be dumb of me, but there's not much I can do. So all out. So cool. So if you couldn't tell, I'm going to be building with a lot of thickened glass. Hooray. Like a lot of thickened glass. The other thing I want, I, I decided I want to get is laboratory blocks. So these guys are cool. Um, they're just smooth stone, and um, they look nice. And quartz. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I chose fuzzy screen as the laboratory block that I like. And you guys are going to basically see how this is going to look now. Uh, and, and we'll be cool, I hope. Uh, so let's teleport over to our space station. Let's get some oxygen going on. Now I do have flight available here, which is good because we're going to need it. Uh, satellite of love, dial once, zoom. Hooray! Um, you're just an annoying sound, aren't you? So you're going to have to go somewhere that's not an annoying sound. So it's going to have to be somewhere that I'm not going to be in a lot. Uh, because that's an annoying sound. But we're going to want to... So I haven't entirely decided how I want or where I want this platform that I'm standing on right now. Because we definitely want... So I, I think I do know where I'm going to want that. Um, we'll call this the rocket platform. Um, so we might wind up... Cool. So if we did this, that's neat. So this whole thing will stay as it is right now. And then this platform will, will, will stand as the cornerstone of kind of my area. So let's also get, let's clear this uh, stuff. Let's get this guy and get a few bricks. Okay, a few stone bricks. Good enough for me. Uh, that works. And what can I put away for right now? Because I don't need it. Probably only that. That works for me. Oh, and you know what else I'm going to want? Is my builder's wand. Yeah, yeah. Probably don't need my yellow wrench for the time being. So let's make this, you know, a, I don't want to say like a slightly decent size. And I can activate my jetpack. And I should have no problem jetpacking around here. Now, this jetpack isn't nearly as good as my other jetpack. But that's okay. Well, I mean, it's really not great but it's you know it'll do now i don't think there's a way to actually change like where the rocket lands when it lands on a platform so we'll just have to leave this as is and then we'll um expand from here so let's get to building so the center of this platform is pretty much what i'm going to make this guy right and then we'll do one two three four five Cool. And then I'm going to build the first of what's going to be a dome-based modular base. Um, now the dome, right, so let's imagine that this... So if I were to have five blocks in between each dome, right? So like, imagine that this was... This will probably wind up being an enclosed-ish area. But, well, it can't be because it's this, right? So let's do this. You know what else I totally want to have is a magnet for this build. Because having a magnet would be super cool. Good enough for me. Okay. Cool. So if this was our pathway from point A to point B. Oh, hello. That's right. Jetpack's on. Now we do have gravity on, right? Yeah, that's at a full bore. Neat. And you're not really using power, interesting. 
Um, that's kind of, I'm thinking five blocks in between each modular section should be good. And we'll just figure out if it needs to be more or less later. Um, and then thus starts the modular section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks. Cool. Um, and I can use my tape measure here to measure that out. And the best thing about a tape measure is it puts like right in the center the measurement. So you kind of can easily find the center of the room. So this is the center of the room, right? And if we measure, this should be about seven. That's the center of the room. And this is seven. Cool. Sweet. So this is where my builder is going to go. Uh, I'm going to place my power cell here, which will power my builder up. Cool. I'm going to put a shape card in here, and I'm going to define the shape card to do a top dome size 15 by 15 by 15 and stick that guy in there. Okay. Now with a chest on top, we can throw these things in there. Okay. And then we can grab... A lever. Cool. Uh, let's clear out all these tape measuring lines. And if we activate this dude, sweet. That is cool. We've got our first of many domes. Nice. Um, so we can bring all this thickened glass back here. Uh, we can break all this stuff because we don't need it anymore. Yay for magnets. Um, and then we can build out on this guy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is build this thing out on both sides, and then I'm gonna clear away the excess that we don't need anymore. Cool. And courtesy of my jetpack, and then this will be the exit door. Now that will have to be because that's gonna actually exit to outer space right? That's going to have to be like ineffable glass. Um, but in between other aspects of the base will be other things, right? Um, so let's get a drill bump up to three ready to go because um, that'll make my life easier, right? And I can just do this. Cool. Nice. Now we may want to have, I wish I could figure out the hover module on this thing because I never did figure out how the hover module works. But then we can zip over to here. Okay. So basically, I'm carving out the excess blocks that got placed. That all looks good. I could just stick. It's a little bit harder than it looks. I'm trying not to let too many of those fall into the void, if you get my meaning. Cool. How's that look? Does that look neat? So that will be the first of many modular rooms, right? Now, in these rooms, um, my plan is to have something in the center. So, like, in the center of this room, I might have some kind of thing going on, right? Also, the other thing I wonder, is it ever nighttime in outer space? Like, we are orbiting a planet, right? So, like, will it ever be dark out here? Or is this going to be, like, an eternal day age kind of thing? Because that would be kind of neat. But, like, in the center of this platform, we can have something that maybe we teleport to. Like, um, uh, not from Draconic, but uh, whatchamacallit, uh, from Ender IOs. The, the Ender IO thingy that you can teleport to. Anchors, travel anchors. Like, if we had one of those on every platform, we could easily travel anchor back and forth to different locations that we'd want to get to, right? And then we could have... Um, well, this is a bad representation, but 
Uh, what we could have here is like five machines, five machines, and five machines. So in total, this room can support 15 machines. And we can have blocks behind for interfaces and underneath for power. And in the other automation, we have to figure in, right? So that is pretty cool. Um, now, you know, obviously some rooms will have more access to machines than others, right? Um, so for example, this room, right? Like if this was my platform, I kind of decided this this way. Uh, so on this side, I want to have the central part of my base, right? So this is me kind of mapping it out. And if I have to break and replace things, I'll live. But um, what we'll do is we'll have one, two, three, four, five. So let's do, um, right, and we said there would be in between each platform, one, two, three, four, five, and then like this is the start of a new room. So we'll do again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then this is the start of a new room. This is going to be one of the larger domes. And the larger dome size I came up with is 25 by 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 blocks. Ah, ah, ah. I know, counting with dyer is fun, but that's the only way I can do it. So then we come over here. This is our 25, right? The 25 marker represents the center block. So this is the center block. So then we stick our builder, boom, uh, our power cell, boom, our shape card, we will take out and we'll change this to be 25, 25, 25. Stick that dude in here, okay? Uh, and then a chest on top with a bunch of um, clear glass or thickened glass. So, do, 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 do. Does that sound cool? And while that's here, let's get another thousand of you. Easy peasy. Start it up. Uh, and then you just need a lever. All right. Okay. Uh, and that will be a 25 by 25 dome, which will look something like. Is that cool looking? I hope so. You used all that thickened glass. Ha, ah, that's funny. So while I wait for that thickened glass to craft, I made myself some more laboratory blocks. Right now it's making a bunch of glass so it can combine it with sand to make sandy glass to make the thickened glass. I, I tested with a bunch of different types of material and, and the thickened glass is the one that I seemed to like the most. Um, other glass textures had like stuff I didn't like about them, so. Um, what we're going to have to do here, by the way, is I don't want this expanding all the way. So I'm going to need to do something like this. So I thought this would look cool, and I think it kind of does, right? So we'll do that. Um, and we'll stick this guy out here. So goodish. Oh, I already did one too many here. Okay. I was like, why does this look off? <laughs> it should be pretty well balanced. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Got it. Neat. All right, so we just do this now. And we extend this guy all the way out. And this will kind of be one of the larger pods that we can live in. Um, and this will, you know, be used for things like this will be my central base area. So like under here will be like my draconic orb, which is why we need this to be a pretty big room. Um, and then also some RF power gen might be underneath here. Um, so we'll basically have two types of pods, the smaller pod like this one, which will be for individual machines. And then the larger pod like this one, that'll be for, you know, whatever. Does that sound cool? Like larger type structures. So like immersive engineering, that'll be a larger pod, for example. That's that's the plan at least. And then we just carve out the excess blocks here that went down because of the way the builders want builds and then we're looking pretty cool, I think. 
So does that look neat? Do you guys like that design and build concept? So we totally have to wait for a little bit more glass. Um, it doesn't look like much, probably like a stack or two. That's probably what's missing from that. But I hope you guys like it. Plus then it'll look really cool when we decide to like warp to other planets and whatnot. Like the whole base will be clear glass. Like I think that'll look neat, right? Like that'll be cool. All right, back in a few minutes. Once uh, it's my thickened glass. Nope, getting there. Uh, 21 more uh, schedules. So we're crafting about 200-ish more uh, glass and then we'll get to work on thickened glass. Also, it looks like I'm gonna need to go home in a minute to refuel my jetpack because I'm flying around a little bit. Uh, how's this thing coming along? Ooh, we're so close. So close to having a few more thickened glass. Let's pop home and uh, refill that H2 hydrogen, please. So back home now, hooray. Um, this one, I, I think this was the hydrogen. Links, nice. That actually is not too bad. And that should fill up my oxygen supply beautifully. Cool. And then we can uh, zip back to the station. Uh, dial once. Cool. And now our thickened glass should come in. By the way, um, I went ahead and stuck some ineffable glass right here. Cool. So that we have what should be a sealed environment. And now my test soon here will be uh, to combine like a walkway here made out of glass. So we've got some thickened glass, so we can start using that. Cool. So this should be Oh, well, there, there's your problem. I only have one thick in glass. Haha. <laughs> this should be airtight now. Cool. Almost there. Almost there. Nice. That should be it. Cool. So that is a completed dome, right? We'll pop out here, we'll clear out the excess block stuff. And now we've got this nice open dome area, um, which is pretty neat. I like it. So I, I really like being able to see like everything around, right? Um, it feels like we're working on a space station, but it's like that biodome type concept, like kind of makes sense. Um, speaking of biodome, I didn't plan for where my forestry farm is, or my, my Ender.io tree farm is going to go. Should probably have that somewhere, right? I don't know. We'll figure it out. That should be cool. That should technically be inside a dome, I would think. Probably one of the larger ones probably would make sense, perhaps. Um, Cause we're going to need like, yeah, that stuff. But anyway, uh, so I think what I want to do is um let's pop over to this thing this should be a card number two by the way speaking of uh card number two candidates and if i could take this guy the satellite of love um and place this thing here I'm thinking like the very center block of this space here should be, it's hard to tell if that's the center, but I think it is. That looks centered there, and that looks centered there, and that looks centered there, and that looks centered there. So I'll take that as the center. So you should now be the satellite of love at this location. Um, and this power cell will suffice for now. Eventually that will be managed better, obviously. Um, so now I should be able to go home, teleport there, and then dial up the satellite of love, just to make sure. Testing, dial once. 
Yay, and now we're here, cool. All right, now this room should all be entirely airtight, right? So in theory, I should be able to come borrow this thing. We'll leave our gravity generator here for the time being. Well, let's just stick this in here. So right now it's a vacuum of zero, right? If I were to throw down my oxygen vents, and again, this is a temporary location for these, right? But oxygen vent here uh, with some power and two oxygen scrubbers facing into it, like this and like this with you and you. Um, did I have a capacitor in here? Yes, but I don't think I brought it with me. I could use my power cell, but I'm gonna need it for the builder in a moment. So I guess you need a touch of oxygen just to get started. Liquid oxygen, so that's cool. Right, and you are on redstone control disabled. So if I just stick that there, you've got power. You're not using any power. Vacuum at zero ATM. All of a sudden, you want to be a nuisance, huh? And not work. Maybe because you're detecting some kind of breach of oxygen somewhere? Oh, wait, I think I know where there is one, actually. Didn't I accidentally break a glass block somewhere? No. Huh. Back in a minute, once I figure out why you don't feel like working CO2 scrubber. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That. Come on, work. All right, back in a minute once I figure out what's up. So if I wall off this room, we're in, we're, we're okay. So it's not anything in here or in here. So it's in the big room. Right, so that's cool. So let's figure out what about this room is vacuumed. It's not that, right? I would hope not. Well, that's now a vacuum, but that's okay. Fixed. <laughs> uh, looking, 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 looking. So like this whole pathway is fine. Where, where, where are you not like a vacuum? Back in a sec, figuring it out. So this might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> so this room is now pressurized. So I closed off this room and he is pressurized. So I might need an oxygen vent in each room, which is kind of annoying, mostly because the sound it makes, um, and then also uh, also because you need to be doing oxygen scrubbing. So, uh, hey, where's my other oxygen scrubber? Close. Um, so long story short, this room is pressurized all by itself. This room is pressurized all by itself with the hallway. So like, let's double check this. Right? So if I wanted to do... Still pressurized. Right, um, let's seal this off. Still pressurized. Cool. So why did you have a problem going from that room into this one and not this one into this one? Interesting. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, it says it's pressurized now. Okay, so that makes little to no sense to me, but I guess we'll just have to figure it out. Um, if it turns out that oxygen is going to be a problem for me, I might need to do something different here, but we'll see. So the next thing I want to get, 
is preparation for a draconic energy core. Uh, now I haven't decided on what size I want to get um, entirely yet, uh, but let's head over to the satellite of love and see what we can come up with. It's like a plan. Uh, so in theory, this room should still be pressurized. Yay! It's working. Uh, cool. But I'm gonna shut you off for a second because I'm gonna be building down here. Um, so in theory, right? Um, let's let's envision. This isn't where the set where, where the orb is gonna go. This is for visual purposes only, right? But the draconic orb is gonna look like this. Um, so if we want a tier four orb, which refresh my memory. Uh, we may eventually want like a tier 7. You know me, I don't like to do tier 8. Um, where's that orb? Energy storage core. Yeah, this guy is what we're going to be making here. Um, tier 4 is 9.8 billion RF. Compared to what we currently have, which is 100 million, that's a lot. Um, now, tier 5 will be 59 billion. And then we can get up to 2.14 trillion if we want to go crazy and go tier 7. Uh, so if we did want to go all the way up to tier 7 and we build guide this thing, that that's that's the size we're looking at. So that's not too crazy. So it would fit inside the room as long as the room is tall enough. Um, and it's it's pretty much the exact height of this room. Like, it's, it's yelling at me that the flooring there is not correct, but, like, it's pretty darn close to correct. Right? So that is 1, 2... Right, so that's the core, right? So we're doing one. Five, is that right? Five tall? I think that's correct. Right? One, two, three, four, five tall. Um, which would mean five below as well. So as long as we make the room size 10, in height, we can fit a tier 7 orb in there. Um, now, this will also require, like, the pylons, right, which would probably be on these multiple sides here, but I think we should be all right with that size, as long as we make the room big enough. So we basically would need to make it at least 10 tall, so like, let's make it like 12 or 13 tall, or should we do 15? Should we do 15 tall? So it's kind of like a circular room? That would kind of make sense. Like, it wouldn't be circular, but it would be the same uh, tall as it is across, right? Because if we grabbed our tape measure, did I put already you away? No, I didn't. Good, good, good. Um, so let's go to this thing. Um, deactivate. So across is what? Interior across. It's much more, right? It's 23. So I don't know if I want to make it 23 tall. That, that would be kind of silly. But I think 15 tall would be sufficient, right? Um, so all we'd have to do here is pretty much man i wish i had like my actual jetpack on but like yeah it's gonna hurt if i do that new oxygen detected because this is turned off right um so if we were to basically i want to do this and then i can builders wand it down so back in a sec when this is done because it's going to take a while and i have to keep an eye on my hydrogen of course Let's also make sure that this is on my hotbar, so if anything does go wrong, I can quick zap home. So now in theory, I should be able to, as you can see here, go one, sweet. So this is a two tall room at the moment, right? One, two, interior tall. Um, and I turned all, or I lowered my gravity thing, which will help me with the building a little bit. So that's three, four, and my builder's wand is dead. Uh, time to get into one of those. You know, I should be able to get an unbreakable wand at this point. Because I've got nether stars. Booyah. Cool. Um, so one, two, three, four. Let's make it 11 tall. Does that sound good? Or, or did I say 15? I said 15. So one, two, three, four five six and that might have run out of blocks yeah it did it totally did so let's get more laboratory blocks real quick 
So if I want a 15 tall interior area, this is what we're looking at, right? Now it is kind of dark in here, but I have somewhat of an idea of what I'll do about that. So just to get this thing actually like interiorized. Now assuming there's not gonna be able to be any air in here, and this will also help me to test um, the other air situation that I've got going on, which is, is there like a limit to how much that thing can do, right? So let's do you, cool. And then I should be able to get this all the way taken care of now. Now this will be a bit of a dark area, but I'll light it up eventually. We can throw glowstone in, we can do, there's a couple options ideally that we can do. But the big question here will be, what can we do in terms of cool? Love builder's wands, makes this so much better. Can you imagine doing this without a builder's wand? Because I can't. Cool. Look at that jump height. <laughs> it's great. Uh, we're going to need more uh, laboratory blocks. Back in a minute. And Bob is your uncle. Hooray. Cool. Now just to clean up the outside a little bit. Won't be too much of a deal. Should be fine, honestly. I'll leave it for now. We'll clean it up in a minute off camera. So now the question is, if I just punch like one hole right here, will that be enough for air to like, I can breathe everywhere? Here's the question. Sweet. Pressurized one atmosphere. Well, that's kind of cool. So yeah, that's kind of working pretty well. Um, and so there's a couple things I could do with lighting in this room. I could either just have some kind of glass uh, on the floor. So like we could replace this. Get some thickened glass. Right? Um, and say like I'm picking a random spot, right? We'll definitely want something to allow air down there, right? But this is pressurized still, right? And that's kind of well lit. F7 doesn't show anything, so I assume, I assume no mobs can spawn here anyway. Um, but like if I, if I did something like that, that would work. Or we could do something with glowstone. Or we could do something with windows. Hold on. Like, how cool would it be to make a big window right here? Right? Now, this is going to be all of a sudden venting to the outside, so that's going to be bad. Right, so no more vacuum. Right, so that's not, I'm just testing the lighting mechanics. Let's turn you off, because right, vacuum bad. Yeah, that's not terrible, it's not great. Um, if I was gonna do that, I might want like, like a big wall. So like something like this. Break it, yay, right? And like, that would be kind of cool, right? So that would be like, or maybe even like a five by five, which would be totally doable in this room size. So we could have like, Still, the center of the room wouldn't be that dim or, 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 or bright. But we can come up with something for that. So, like, if I did a drill upgrade here, and we're getting well past the wrapping up point of the episode, but hopefully you guys are getting an idea of what I'm going for here and also hoping that you like it. Come back to me, blocks. Come back. Right? So, like, something like this. This one is what I want to break. Boom. And obviously these take a long time to break now because I have the five by five upgrade in them, but you get the idea, right? So that could kind of look neat. So if that was all glass, oh, good job me.
right? That would kind of look cool. What do you guys think? Right, so imagine this room with the orb in the center and lasers branching out in the four different directions to the different rooms that need RF power. It might not be all four, because I think like right now, the rough idea or the rough sketch that I have is this direction that I'm facing will probably be more uh, IC2 based, I think. Um, so I'm here, so if that's IC2 room, right? And to the left of that is a platform. Uh, to the right of that, I might have a big orb, a big biodome type thing. That'll be um, like advanced rocketry stuff for like a large area. Over here, we might have miscellaneous automation stuff and mob farms. In this corner, I'll have another big one that'll be immersive engineering. So all the immersive engineering rooms, machines will be in a 25 by 25 room like this over in this corner. Uh, and then this way is Ender.io forestry and calculator machines. Um, in this corner might be some draconic and other RF based machines. And this will be a mechanism room over here. So really you're looking at this corner, this cardinal direction, this corner, and this cardinal direction and this corner to be all RF power based. This will be IC2. We might have some miscellaneous IC2 stuff over here. Um, and this will be mechanism in this direction. Um, and depending on you know how much other mechanism we need, we'll see. Uh, let me just seal up this area downstairs and make sure that everything works hunky dory with thick and glass. So let's do uh, this, you, and back in a sec once I cover this whole thing up. And I'm pretty sure the draconic reactor actually emits light. So I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with that. Cool, now you wouldn't, okay, good, nice. So if the draconic reactor emits light, we should have enough lighting inside this big room. Neat. Sweet. So that should be nice and clear. So please leave me feedback in the comments, guys, because uh, you know me. I am both not good and not confident in my ability to make nice looking structures. I'm trying to break my comfort zone a little bit and I hope you guys recognize that and appreciate it because uh, I'm thinking this could be cool. Wow, jumps are just so, like I just barely tapped the space bar and I'm like halfway up. <laughs> That's what happens when I turned off the gravity, of course, but it made less hydrogen use by turning off the gravity because he says as he uses a bunch of hydrogen. Hey, why did you not? There we go. Sweet, so that should be a vacuum now, right? And if we went over to this thing again and said activate, Pressurized, one. Hey, that's cool. So we're pressurized, air. You're not making the noise, but you're pressurized, see? No problem breathing. Sweet, that's cool. So like if I wanted to, one thing I wanna test, one more before we wrap up. Let's um, do that. Um, and I'm just gonna, let's remove these things before I do something stupid. Like if I can stick this down here somewhere, like just in a corner, right? Doesn't even matter where. Um, basically we would just want the two scrubbers, one, two, with their carbon cartridges in them. And we can automate that at some point, right? Redstone control normal, give it just a touch of oxygen. And now we've got a pressurized base. How cool is that? And we can take off this and we can put this back on. Sweet. Right? So we've got something of a base. And, and this thing will eventually go downstairs. Well, it's well past wrapping up point now. So what we're going to do is uh, the thing we say, which is Darwell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. 
Uh, we will come back next time. Five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this block here should be the orb. And if we want to just look what a seven would visualize like, it would look like that inside this room. With This will eventually be removed, this power cell, and we'll just have some kind of wire there. And that would be a tier seven in this room, and I think that would look cool. All right, Dial 20 signing off. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. Um, yeah, and, and continue this process, right? Like, So I might do some more building off camera, and then we'll come back and, and more building will have been done. All right, don't go outside without oxygen. <laughs> and yeah, for now, take it easy.